The dividend is split. I want to get a sense of how tough a negotiation this was with the regulator, uh, or was it at quite a bit of pressure to get there? No, I think that, uh, you know, first of all, um, you know, I can tell you that uh, we uh, uh, reiterated clearly that uh, the strong uh, capital uh, funding uh, position and, uh, and the business mix we have uh, 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 would have allowed us to, to, to confirm our uh, dividends. Uh, we got a, a request from uh, FINMA uh, to uh, 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 consider the situation, uh, reconsider the situation, and I think that uh, we took the decision that uh, in order to balance the interest uh, of uh, all stakeholders, including our shareholders, uh, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we um, uh, took this decision to split uh, uh, our uh, already announced dividend uh, in two tranches. Is the 2020 dividend and buyback program at risk as a result of this in this move? I think that it's uh, premature. I mean, first of all, I have to, uh, we already announced that we would suspend any share buyback uh, uh, um, following. Uh, um, uh, the second half of the year uh, and uh, the coronavirus situation has only uh, confirmed that uh, it would not be prudent uh, to continue to, with share buyback. So uh, the share buyback team has already been uh, postponed to the very uh, late part of 2020 uh, or, or, or uh, uh, for the future. And uh, so there is no topic, uh, no, um, no discussion on that point. Also, for the 2020 dividend, it's too early to uh, to to make a forecast. We're gonna think prudently about balancing uh, our uh, desires to keep a very strong capital position uh, and uh, and also serve our clients a uh, land uh, um, where appropriate and necessary. And but also, we will uh, take in consideration uh, the needs of our shareholders in terms of capital returns. So. This is going to be a balanced act that we can only consider at the end of the year.